bringing power back to the people, giving you the right to do what you want with your equipment, and overall, the right to repair by jailbreaking your Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Let's take a look at the X1 Plus community firmware. Hey guys, welcome to a weird corner of my shop. You are used to actually seeing a, a little bit to my left where I normally am sitting at my desk, but instead I'm standing in our shop because I wanna show it to you in place so you can see what X1 Plus really is. This is firmware that unlocks the potential of your bamboo because it includes things like a fully fledged Linux terminal, the real ability to be secure with a network a pin lock screen should you want and more. So let's just jump right into talking about the features of X1 Plus, why I like it so much and why I think you will like it too. X1 Plus not only lets you change the, you know, nice on-screen message there to whatever the heck that you want, but it lets you see things like the actual leveling points of your bed. So you can see if your bed is a bit of a taco, or if it's actually pretty flat and with an improved tramming UI, you are able to go in and actually fix those flaws within that build plate. It also lets you see the input shaping data to see where the printer resonates a lot, and where it doesn't resonate a lot, which can be helpful to track wear and tear on the machine. Cause as we know with the X1 carbon, the carbon rails on it are eventually a wear item and will need to be replaced. And there's no real good way right now to determine what that wear life looks like. You'd actually track it if you wanted by seeing how the machine's vibration compensation is affected by wear and tear on those carbon rods. It won't exactly tell you when it's time to replace components, but if you start seeing your numbers drift quite a bit, hey, you might have some extra wiggle where you didn't exactly expect it. But for me and a lot of other business owners that look at these machines and say, we can use these for businesses, we just have to make sure they're secure. X1 Plus enables a truly secure offline network mode that uses IP tables to block all outbound TCP connections at the Linux kernel level. Yes, blocking all outbound TCP connections at the kernel level. And yes, Linux. This printer actually runs BusyBox. For those that didn't know, Bamboos are Linux based, which is awesome. And when you turn on and boot into X1 Plus, you get the little tux at the top. And those who know about tux, no, it's a nice little fun thing to see there. You know, tipping the hat to the old Linux guys and gals, if you will. But if you do run an X1 Carbon in an education or makerspace environment, or maybe you have little hands at home, you can easily now go in and actually turn on a screen lock. So we can have a passcode, which, for a lot of you, it's gonna be the same passcode that you use for your luggage. One, two, three, four. But it also enables you to have a full SSH server where we can do an entire on-screen console with a full keyboard, should that be something that you actually want to do. But for me, one of the big things, and the big thing that we've been assisting with the X1 Plus team for, is being able to do this 100% offline. All your computer needs is one little driver, which is probably in that description down below. You know, if you go down there and take a look, and hey, while you're down there, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and support us on Patreon, PayPal, and YouTube channel members if that's your kind of thing. We have tiers as low as $1 a month, and at the $10 tier and higher, to come hang out with the awesome folks at 3D Musketeers, including myself. I know you're more interested in hanging out with a cat, but you can also come hang out with me, I guess, if you want in our private Discord server. But with that one little driver, you can now access the printer via USB through the micro USB port that is on the AP board. And from there, you can do anything inside the machine, whether that's SSH, FTP, or just poke around and look at unencrypted things like the log files, or maybe the images from the LiDAR sensors or the cameras which is objectively so cool. We've all had our theories about how the bamboo LiDAR system works. This micro LiDAR thing that a lot of people just kind of called fake LiDAR. But the amount of data that bamboo is actually collecting during those LiDAR scans is incredibly fascinating. 
And here, we'll even show you actual LiDAR data from my machine up on your screen right now. So if you want to see things like the line widths and how it detects it, or even the fiducial marks that it uses to make sure that it is within calibration and can do micro adjustments to bring itself back into calibration, this level of technology has never been seen on a consumer grade 3D printer and certainly never at this price point. And that is really cool, but it does also let us see some things that I'm less happy with. And we're gonna talk about those in an upcoming video as we detail exactly what is in those log files. So if that is something you wanna see, of course, you know how to follow along. For me, it is all about ease of use. And with X1 Plus, it is a simple PC-based installer. You click install, answer yes, and wait. Then you reboot and you're done. Seriously, it is that simple. And this sits on top of the regular Bamboo interface. And in fact, it runs completely off the micro SD card on your machine. So if you were to shut the machine off and remove the SD card, because do not remove the SD card when the machine is running, that is bad. Do not do that, you will upset your machine. But if you remove your SD card and boot your printer, it will just boot into whatever stock firmware that it was running. For me, it's actually 1.4.1, but with X1 Plus, I'm running 1.7.1. And with this new firmware, I am able to do all the great things that those of you that can keep your bamboos online have been able to do. And if you are operating with NDAs, your machine should be offline and not able to update. With X1 Plus, it gives you the power to still update your machine, but do it offline in a secure environment, which is pretty awesome. And because it does install onto that SD card, you are simply able to just revert back to stock should you want. If Bamboo does release something that you'd rather have instead of dealing with waiting for the community firmware to be updated, you have all of those options available at your fingertips to make the decisions that are right for you and your situation. But with that being said, X1 Plus is not going to be for everybody. If you like your machine the way it is and you don't want to mess with it, you just don't want to touch it, then yeah, this isn't for you and it never was for you. If you still have a warranty, this might not be for you because Putting X1 Plus on your machine is likely to void your warranty. And if you are above 1.7.0, you are currently needing to wait for Bamboo to release Firmware R and sign away likely quite a bit of your rights when it comes to getting warranty support on your machines to be able to utilize this community firmware. Now, I don't have to like Bamboo's decision to agree that from a business perspective, that is the right decision for them to do. We'll just see how it's handled in the long run. But if you do trust Bamboo to provide good warranty and good customer support, then hey, keep what you got. There's no reason to change unless you see features here that have value to you and what you're doing. But for those of you that like jailbreaking your iPhones or rooting your Androids and poking around in places that maybe you shouldn't and potentially having to rebuild Windows or Linux or Mac OS because you did something dumb, you will probably really enjoy X1 Plus. That extra bit of data that lets you take control over what your machine is doing and why, help you understand how it is working and why it is working, and when it doesn't work, understand why it doesn't work, X1 Plus is for you. Those of you that maybe are a bit old school and like to tinker a little bit might enjoy X1 Plus because of its fully featured Linux terminal, so you can poke around with full SSH access and FTP access, you can look at anything, including unencrypted log information. You don't need me to tell you all about it. You can look for it yourself, but we're gonna tell you all about it coming soon. Don't worry. And of course, if you do have a problem, you can boot directly to OEM. And that is a great feature should you decide, ah, I don't know, man, I'm not really utilizing the features. It's not for me. I wanna go back to stock. But if you have concerns with privacy like I do, and you like those network security enhancements, including, yes, including that LAN mode plus shield, which blocks your printer from talking to the outside world, which I like, X1 Plus is really for you. If you want to own your printer and you control it because you are the warranty, then yeah, X1 Plus is for you. And if you'd like some of these roadmap features, X1 Plus might be for you as well. And I'd love to know what your favorite thing 
about X1 Plus is, let me know in those comments down below. For me, it's all about that security and my ability to update offline. My machine has been stuck on 1.4.1 since we got it without the ability to update. Now with X1 Plus, it's running 1.7.1 and it is happy and so much quieter, which is a big deal for me. But coming soon, they're gonna be publishing the source code. As soon as this firmware goes public, the source code will be there as well to allow you to download it, join the project, contribute, just look around if that's your kind of thing. They're also working on a Ethernet USB dongle to allow you to plug into the micro USB port on the AP board and have full Ethernet support built into the machine. One of the big features in the X1e. Well, now you can put it on your X1c and not spend an extra thousand dollars for that and a chamber heater. Another big roadmap thing is something that we are working with the X1 Plus team on is completely offline firmware updates via the SD card, including firmware updates for the AMS toolhead motion controller, etc. And inside of X1 Plus, they actually list everything out for you so you can see where you are for which firmwares. And if there is an incompatibility, it will give you the option to either connect to the internet to download it, or if you're like me and you have that super awesome driver, you can just load the firmware yourself because it is really simple to do. But being able to do that kind of thing offline opens up your ability to maintain a relatively secure environment and still utilize a really good machine. Regardless of whether or not this should be a thing from the beginning, it is now a thing for those of you that want that level of control. So, hey, keep an eye out because as soon as it is available, we will link to it down below. And how many of you have ever wondered about these buttons here at the top, the, the two buttons that don't really do anything for the machine? Well, the plan for the robot is to make them fully remappable to do anything you want, like a real e-stop, disable them entirely, or just use them for other features within the machine. And a cool feature that I like that is on the roadmap is getting access to the tool head camera images integrated into the UI, doing things like showing the view from the tool head camera when you have a bed leveling failure. So you can actually look and see what it sees so you can understand what's wrong and why. And either say, it ain't no problem, keep going, or no, actually, let's stop and look. And this is especially useful if your machine is connected to the internet, where you could look at it from a PC or some other device and be able to see these images effectively in real time. Ish, but also be able to view the pressure advanced calibration scans to see is it what you're expecting or is something wrong? And if something's wrong, potentially just revert to an old one. That's what we like to see about potential roadmaps here. And of course, check that first layer scan because it's scanning your first layer. You should have access to see it. That is going to be an upcoming feature as well. One that I think is just objectively cool is to do a time lapse from the camera on the tool head itself. There is a camera tucked right up behind the fan on the X1 Carbon, and that's what helps align the printer and obtain extra data when it's doing the scans. What if you could do a time lapse from that? That'd be a pretty sick time lapse, I'm just saying, to be able to go back and forth between the internal camera and the camera on the tool head. Something that, would, would you use? Yeah, maybe. It's a nice to have, but it's not a necessity. And of course, because if a graphing calculator can do it, if a flipper zero can do it, maybe one day soon, one of you can port Doom to run on the X1 Carbon. And if any of you do that, reach out to me because I will make a video on it because that kind of thing is awesome. But again, remember X1 Plus is not for everybody. And you might say, Grant, this just isn't worth it. And hey, that's okay. But if you are like me and you want to really own the things that are yours, be able to work on them, be able to understand them, and be able to maintain them, even if the company stops maintaining it themselves, then I think you're really going to love the X1 Plus firmware. Again, let me know your favorite features in those comments below. Would there be something that you'd like to see on the roadmap? Because yeah, the X1 Plus team is absolutely gonna be looking at these comments. So, you know, show them some love down below as well. Just like I'm gonna show some love to all of our supporters whose names listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Remember, if you wanna support the efforts that we do here on this channel, 
you can do so by kicking a couple of bucks into that creator fund. Links are down below. And at the $10 tier and higher, you get to come hang out with myself and the entire 3D Musketeers crew in our private Discord server where you get to see some awesome things like sneak previews of this well before we even made a video because I think we've had access to this for about the longest of any content creator. And well, I really wanted to learn more about this before we fully committed to not only converting to it, but also to better understand it to make a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. But right below me will be the entire Bamboo Saga because that's been an absolute just nightmare of problems. Thankfully, this machine has been quite a bit better. If you want to see all about this particular machine, that'll be right next to it where you can see the live streams where we got this machine and we fixed it and it's actually been running pretty well. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. Leave a like. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one.